G'day boys, it's your boy Nefigiti Mum's Biscetti, and in this video I'm going to be introducing you to the Agent Brainer. And we're going to be going through a lot of things, we're going to be going through her abilities, typical game sense, and what you should do in different scenarios with her abilities, and what you should be looking out for when you do play Reina. I may not be the best Reina, but I'm a pretty decent one at that. I'm currently in Mortal 2, and I'm doing quite well, top fragging, match MVPs, all that kind of stuff. You can take that at face value if you want, but I'm just trying to back up my claim, I guess you could say that I do understand how to play Reyna in certain scenarios and what to do with her. So starting off, I'm just going to jump straight in and talk about her Dismiss and Devour ability. First off, the soul orbs that are dropped after killing an enemy only last for about 3 seconds. So you have 3 seconds to decide if you want to Devour, Dismiss or just leave it entirely. Reyna's Dismiss ability only lasts for 2 seconds and you have a small gap of vulnerability when you go out from the Dismiss ability as you have to pull out your previous weapons, which does take some time to do so especially when you're using an Operator or an Odin. But the best thing about this Dismiss ability is the potential of damage you can do to the enemy team and get away scot-free. So if you're pushing aggressive in mid or any other place and you get a kill and you're stuck in a hard position where you have to fall back into the line of fire of another enemy who's trying to get the trade, you can easily just dismiss back into cover and retreat and fall back to a better position. You also need to understand when to use dismiss and when to use devour. So if you're pushing mid and you know there's one player bottom mid and he hits you with an operator and you're down to 20 HP, that's when a good opportunity is to use devour, regain your HP and then fall back or continue pushing. But if you know there's one bottom mid and one close close to him somewhere that can follow up with a tray kill, it's better to just get that kill, dismiss away, potentially get a sage heal or fall back to a better position where you can get another kill, capitalize on it and use the devour ability. So it's, a, it's all about understanding when you should use the devour and when you should use dismiss. Best one is to always get turned into a 4v5 at the start of the round, giving your team a big benefit and a big up one on the enemy team. Her devour ability takes a full three seconds to get the optimal heal of the 100 HP. And depending on if you have max HP or not, it can only overheal to a maximum of 50 HP. Just remember, you have to be in sight of the soul orb that is dropped to use lifesteal or dismiss. If you go behind a wall while sucking the lifesteal off your opponent before it's fully done, it will cancel. As well as getting shot at, it will cancel the ability as well. Do be mindful that the duration of overheal is only 30 seconds. Just a friendly reminder when you are life stealing, remain vigilant as good players will instantly re-peak you to get that trade kill as the beam really gives away your position and the position you're in for an easy pre-fire kill. Now for her Leer ability, her Leer ability lasts for 2.5 seconds and it takes half a second to activate it. Just be careful though that there is a maximum range on her Leer ability, so be mindful when you're placing it in long range areas like in Ascent Mid bind long B, kind of stuff like this, as it won't actually hit the player who's holding that angle. Just a friendly reminder that the Leer ability has 100 HP, so someone with a Vandal or a Phantom can kill it with three bullets, as well as a one bullet operator shot. This flash only works if the enemy sees the Leer ability on their screen. This can be cancelled out by using smokes or any type of blockage that actually stops the vision of the eye being seen. So be careful of that, if there is an execute and you pop an eye in the smoke, it's not going to be seen by any players and you're going to get killed going through. Just be careful and use your minimap to guide where you're going to place your Leer. To do this, just think about where your enemy is going to be holding and then look at your minimap to guide where you want to put the Leer ability. Her ability doesn't work in Brimstone and Jet Smokes, but you can put it in towards an Omen Smoke and it will be effective for anyone inside that smoke. Your flash range is about half your step circle, is the maximum range you can put it out to. It also you can put it down on the floor, like so. So if you need to pick a close corner, you can just slap it on the floor, peek with it. But do be mindful of this, that it's not completely 100% working, as it doesn't work through stairs and slopes, but it works, it works on flat surfaces. Your Leer ability also goes through walls. Similar to Breach's Flash, you can put it through any kind of wall as long as it reaches up to your max distance. And you also can put it on the floor as well to shorten it if you think it's too long. Like so. If you want it closer, you can just point it towards the floor. And it lands shorter than the longer max range it can go to. 
A nice little strategy with the leer ability is called double leering. This allows you to double leer in the same spot, pulling the aim off the choke point towards the leer from the enemy players. And if they do decide to shoot it and flick back to the choke, another leer will pop right back up in the same spot, blinding them for when you push. This allows your team to push in when the enemy is completely blinded as he's focused back on the choke or back on the leer from the double flash. It also makes the other enemy team either fall back or shoot it, ending up them getting fragged by your team pushing in. Now for probably the most funnest ultimate in the entire game, Reyna's Empress. Activating her Empress doesn't use any of her Q in the abilities and you basically have an infinite number amount of uses but you're not allowed a lifesteal as it automatically heals for you after every kill and your E makes you completely invisible just like a dismiss ability only lasts for two seconds but you are completely invisible to the enemy team. And the best thing about this ability is that it recharges after every single kill so it may only last for 30 seconds but every time you get a kill it resets its timer. It increases fire rate, reload and equip rates. It doesn't help you increase in planning, uh, obtaining orbs and all that kind of other stuff. It only increases the rate of fire, reload and equip rates. Using your dismiss ability lets you really freely peek corners and angles to check out and clear scopes for any enemy players, giving you a big advantage when entering sites. The Empress ability also lights up the enemies just like Viper's ultimate when you step into her gas, it illuminates you at the colour of your choosing which you can modify in your settings. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. So enjoy playing Reyna in ranked or unrated as you learn the characters. Try not to take too much information from this video and just take bits and pieces and then improve and learn on different aspects that I showed you in this video and then come back to it and then improve on the rest of the parts that you missed as you don't want to have an, an information overload and forget crucial things that you could have easily learnt. Mwah. Like a land old magic, pull out the team, call me Go Go Gadget. It's A double Z A, but my name's not Aaron Rupert, I never sound like Hatchet. Talking like you're off and you're moving, but we know that you ain't stacking. Ain't trapping, don't know why these men are talking rough, but I got no backing. Alright, let me jump back in, let me trash it, but I can't back it. Feeling when I try for the round on the mic, there, man, I get scared, but I'm at it.